morning, day seven. You did it right! <laughs> nice! We are one week into the passage. The sea state is the biggest it's been. Uh, but I think we all slept last night, which was good. We were all tired enough from yesterday getting beat up. And we're headed northeast. Uh, the wind is coming basically straight from the Azores. So we're having to kind of zigzag our way there. If you're not familiar with kind of the physics of sailboats or even the terminology that Brett's using, this video is not going to make a lot of sense. So if that's you, this is for you. I'm going to not draw with tweezers. Or those colored pencils. Though. So what's going on right now is that the wind has now shifted and for the next few days, we have wind coming directly towards us from the Azores. So here's the Azores, here's us. Here's 10 more days of sailing, and the wind has now shifted, so the wind is coming at us directly from our destination. Sailboats are physically incapable of sailing directly into the wind. So for us to make it any further east, we're gonna have to do what's called tacking upwind or beating into the wind. In perfect conditions, our boat can sail into the wind at about like 30 degrees like this. But because of the waves and the current right now, we're doing like 45 degrees. So we're sailing, we can sail at about this angle right here. And that's as close to east as our boat can make forward momentum. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to tack. And how tacking works is it's how we change from going southeast to now we'll tack and it'll get us going northeast. And what's going to happen is we turn the boat and as the boat starts to rotate and face on, the it. front of the boat into the wind, we are going to lose all of our powers. We're going to trade sides that the sail is tied on. So I'm going to let off the sail from where it is attached and Brett is going to pull it in on the other side of the boat. And once the sails are readjusted, that's considered our tack, we will now be able to take this heading and to continue 45 degrees like that. And then for however long the wind is coming from here, we can continue doing this. And that's how we'll make eastward progress until the wind shifts. So basically it takes a really long time to get anywhere if the wind is coming from your destination. But we're headed northeast, hopefully to get you an eastbound current and we'll kind of catch that and head east with it. Um, forecast say the waves should get smaller throughout the day fingers crossed because that would be awesome but we're still pretty reefed because the wind is still blowing over 20 knots so we're in we're not in a huge hurry we're still doing five knots so it's not like we're not moving yeah got a new boat bite you got a slice on my hand from one of the hatches surprisingly the generators on we're making water we went through our uh, one tank of water which I think is 60 gallons so we went through 60 gallons of water in a week, in a week. Pretty yep pretty good and we need to do dishes today. Yeah, we do. Just water. But I'm also making hot water so we can take showers too. Mm. I, I don't know about you guys, I need a shower. I don't think I talked about it at all when I did it, but the hydraulic fluid needed to get refilled. It was still leaking a little bit, uh, just a tiny bit. I think it's actually, maybe it wasn't, but there was still the air in the line. So as the air worked itself out, uh, the fluid level dropped obviously. Um, so what I ended up using was two stroke motor oil. Reason being, if my memory is right, two stroke, you know, smokers will often, sometimes will use hydraulic fluid as two stroke oil. They also sometimes just use motor oil. And that was the lowest viscosity, highest viscosity? It was the runniest. I can't remember which way that direction goes. Um, oil that I could find on the boat other than like olive oil, which didn't seem to really, that would, wouldn't really make sense with coconut oil. No. Um, so two stroke motor oil, and it also has some dye in it. So if it is still leaking, it should hopefully make it easier to find said leak. And I, once we get to somewhere that has actual hydraulic fluid, we'll do a flush on it and see if we can replace any of the seals or whatever seals are leaking. I imagine it probably hasn't had seals replaced since it was installed back in 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. 
So it's probably about time for a refresh. The comments have been fantastic. Uh, for the most part, general consensus has been ATF, which I don't have any ATF. We don't have an automatic transmission. Brake fluid, don't have any brakes on the boat. Um, mineral oil, don't really have any mineral oil. Or a vegetable oil, we don't use vegetable oil. We only have olive oil. So those are kind of like the main contenders, none of which I have. So then it was motor oil, and we have diesel motor oil, outboard, um, four-stroke motor oil, and I have some leftover two-stroke motor oil from Mercedes. So that's why I went with that one, because that is the least needed oil as well on the boat, is the two-stroke motor oil, because we don't really have a working two-stroke right now. made water we've gone through gone through our uh, forward tank of water we're leaving the left leaving the aft tank full um, as an emergency um, and generator is on and the generator running topping off the batteries making water making hot water so we can do dishes and take some showers later. Uh, this is kind of a, a real look of what it's like right now. The sink is completely full of dishes. There's clothes just kind of everywhere. Because it was rough. Uh, it's way better today. Like this is nothing compared to what it was yesterday. Um, this is, I mean, we could do dishes in this and shower, but yesterday mm -mm, it was not, not. <laughs> Um, we have 1,300 amp hours of battery. We've only been using about 70% of that on purpose, um, just to give ourselves some safety in case, excuse me, in case we can't charge or whatever, and also to keep the voltages a little bit higher. So I started the generator at 35% today um, to make water, but then also to keep the voltages up. I want to keep the voltages nice and high. Uh, I don't want to really go anything below 12. Uh, that way the all the systems stay happy. The autopilot has enough power, the instruments, the lights, the pumps, everything, bilge pumps, heaven forbid. Um, everything's been super great. We haven't had any power issues, uh, but I am intentionally keeping our batteries a lot higher than what I normally would. If we were on anchor, I'd take those all the way down to five, 10%, um, just to use full capacity, because you can, it's lithium. Um, but yeah, so charging that up, and the water tank is full now, so now I can do some dishes. I think everyone else is still sleeping, catching up on uh, yesterday and last night. Oh, I guess I didn't really give you much of a consumption uh, a power consumption update. Um, so, like I said, we have those batteries and they've been fantastic. We also have solar, we also have the generator. This is the second time we've run the generator on this trip, um, going from about 30% to, um, we'll probably go up to 100%. Um, and we do have solar making anywhere from three to 900 watts. So I wanna say we've been averaging uh, a net of about 250 consumed each day. If you were to include the solar, it might be closer to like 400 amp hours a day, which is a lot. Uh, that's that's a lot of power. But you have to remember that we are three people with the inverters running full time. So we have Starlink on and two powerful laptops editing. Uh, we go through about four camera batteries a day and occasional ice maker, occasional water maker, occasional, um, air fryer, blender, uh, lots of lights, right? So we go through a lot of power, but that's okay. We make a lot of power, but just thought you might be curious.
morning. Conditions have calmed down a lot. A lot. There's something on this line. Is that a fish? I don't know if it's a fish or a big seaweed, but there's something. Wait, let me cut in these doggies. Hi, Ayana. She's Hi. eating. Penny, come. Penny, come here, baby. Lily Rome just messaged. They sent their position report, but they only gave like two digits. Like, well, degrees, they only get two minutes. If, if they are where they say that they are, they seven miles down. But I don't see them. I've got my life jacket. I have yours on, you can wear mine. Okay. Is it Imani? Ayana. Ayana, wake up. Ayana, wake up. What? We got a fish. What kind of fish is it? Don't know yet. Oh my god. It's a mahi. He's a mahi. No way. Mahi for lunch! Yeah! Oh, this is gonna be so good! Hey, back up. Back up. Back up. Keep going. Nice! Move. Thanks. Woo! That's a big fish. Nice. Where'd that knife go? Just hold the knife. I'll pull it. There you go. <laughs> I definitely meant to go like this. So sorry about that. I, I, I don't think for a second you meant to, to bash the knife into the counter. Anyone who wants to see how hard they worked on those countertops, go look at episode. I don't know, 80 something probably. <laughs> okay, but get this avocado slice. <laughs> Look at how it bounces back. That's beautiful. There's something so satisfying about that. It's the most perfect of all avocados. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that to the counter. <laughs> I'll let it slide. But only because you took my night shift the other day. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wish I had a better drizzling opportunity here, but. We're working with what we got. And then some ponzu. I don't want to overdo it with the ponzu. Wow. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thank you. You're welcome. This looks amazing. <laughs> mm, smells good.
Wow, what service. Ooh, this looks amazing. This looks like it should be in a fine restaurant. I don't even know how to eat this. Uh, with the chopsticks, I think. I don't know what I was expecting of us, but <laughs> we're possibly more yeah, skilled spoon. than we have. Um, spicy mayo and ponzu with some off wine. I didn't want to overdo it. Okay, amazing, amazing. Thank you guys. I don't know who did what, but. Ayana did most of it. Mm. I made coffee and cooked rice. That was my coffee. Are you plated? <laughs> Have you tried the fish yet? Thoughts? Hmm? Thoughts on it? It's good. Okay. I've never had raw mahi like that. I would definitely like to put ponzu on it, I think. Definitely. But it's very mild, like it just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a white fish. Yeah. Yum. Sweet. Very yum. What an absolute treat. And it was so avocado, that's incredible. Yum. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> and I couldn't finish her, so Penny's helping out. This <laughs> dog's eating good today. To be a yep, so the dogs got a bunch of sashimi and now they're getting leftovers of this. So they are eating very well today. We all are eating well today, but the dogs especially. Right, Jade, how's your soul? <laughs> I was just saying that I feel like my soul is full. Soulful. soulful. Jade's feeling soulful. You guys want to listen to some jazz? No, oh, Jade was just playing the saxophone there. <laughs> no, it was the accordion. Uh. Looks like the recorder to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe a sax of boom. Maybe a Jack Black. A kazoo. I feel like a kazoo would be a really good addition to our boat I can, band. I could rock a kazoo. I bet you would. I bet you would get really good I at barely it. want to practice my harmonica. You should. It's so we really don't mind. You just start doing it while you're on shift. You need to show them over how good you are at your harmonica. They haven't seen you at all. I'm not that good. She's way better than all of us. I think it's the best live harmonica playing I've ever seen, actually. You probably haven't seen much. It might be the only. Yeah. <laughs> it's also the worst, but. <laughs> so he's gonna go to nursing school. He would be so good at it. He would be the best nurse. Like, the world would be so lucky for him to be doing that. Yeah, yeah, I've been working on a Photoshop compilation to update the page. And it'll just be like a bunch of different photos of us sailing and stuff. It's almost done. Um, but yes. Yeah, and our description too, I think, still says we're going to be fixing our boat. So we need to update. Yeah, we have to update that too. <sighs> Time has just flown by. I love you too. Enjoy the rest of your day at work. Faster than the speed of light. <laughs> Swifter than a leopard. How's it going, Brett? Pretty good. Good. Penny's doing a... Uh... Sailing up wind zoomies. Look, she's got her nose. Look behind you. Look behind you. Look <laughs> behind <laughs> <laughs> the window. <laughs> so crazy. Can you guys get the zoomies? Day seven.
fun, everybody. We didn't film very much today, I don't think. No, we didn't. But we cleaned up the boat. Ayana did an amazing job in the galley. We caught a fish. This area, we caught a fish. Good scam. Working away. Yeah, we've made it to the current. We're in the North Atlantic current system now. I don't know what it's actually called, but that seems like a good description. It's part of the major ocean gyre of the North Atlantic. And we <laughs> are headed more east. We've been doing like northeast, but going mostly north. Uh, but these are eastern currents. So they should help us get to our destination despite our upwind situation. And I honest just casually like, oh, it's fine. I have a switchblade right here. <laughs> no, but the best part is I hand it to her so carefully and she's like, great, and like brings it right towards <laughs> my face. <laughs> There's a reason I don't carry around that. I've given this back to you. Take it. <laughs> did you cut the thing? Yeah, I did. Okay, <laughs> all good. But like, why do you keep your switchblade with your hair braiding? I put blood? it in there today because I knew that we were going to use the rope. Planning ahead. You really should have come up with a better story. <laughs> It's day. It's day day seven. It's day seven. <laughs> no arguing now. Worry? It's day seven. Sorry, Dang it! I didn't mean to correct you. <laughs> okay, now I need my big fat. It might have been a shark fish, maybe. Maybe. That lure does have a lot of drag. Yeah, because it's so long and and it's a big lure, yeah. Yeah, is somebody want to tell the camera about that? We're going nine knots. Nice. <laughs> Nailed <a> it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We found a current. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's turn that enthusiasm at least up to like two more notches. <laughs> no, it actually did help with the, the comfortableness. I don't know. I think Ayana's going, going to sleep first. Yeah, good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Give us a quick, what, what was that all about? No, we can use this footage. Ocean currents. I already talked to them about it while you were editing. I meant the fish, or not oh, fish. Oh, we thought there was a fish, but there's not a fish. Yep, not a fish. <laughs> so, no back fish. to hair? Back, back to, to hair. hair. It's just that the, we go and we test the lines to see if there's any tension on it, and there was more tension on that line than normal, but that's just because we're going nine knots. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. No, because the current, the water's going with us. Well, some of it. So it shouldn't give any more pressure. It should feel the same as seven knots. I mean, even at seven knots, that big lure is going to be heavy. Yeah, true. And um, we're doing baits. We're doing see Iona's. Have we shown Iona's yet? Oh, yeah. Mine looks pretty cool. Ooh, that's a bright flashlight. Wowza. OK, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So Not bad, huh? Grade. That is cool super, Viking pirate vibe. super cool. Yep. I think I'm gonna wear it like half up, half down tomorrow. So you can see it. That'd be cute. Yeah. Now I need a good Your one. I need two because I didn't do one last night. Three because we're catching up. Right. You want to tell us about your evening? I have broken a new personal record. No. I have crossed a new personal boundary. A new accomplishment. Yes. I had my first spew off the back of the boat. My first ever. I've gotten... Ever. No, ever, ever. I know. That's what I'm saying. Ever. I've never vomited from seasickness before. Spewed. Spewed. I've never spewed. I have felt sick and I've felt uncomfortable and I felt cranky. You know, I've had those seasicknesses, but I've never 
actually thrown up. Or spewed. I think I've only thrown up once since Brett has known me. Actually. Mm -hmm. She doesn't throw up. She'll get really, Do you really that sick. Really great roast that we made in the Guatemala videos when we were in the boatyards. It was bad meat. Yep. I think that's the only time I've ever. Yep. That bird just came in the cockpit. Oh, seriously? Yeah, he came in one of the like uh, metal poles and out the other one. We've got like a, a whole herd. Like a, a gaggle of, no. 2.20 in the morning, it's about time for my shift to be over. I'm gonna go wake up Ayana, pass off the baton. Uh, it's been super chill. Uh, we were in that current, um, but right before we kind of put everything away. I, I can't remember if I told you this or not, but um, we tacked, and so now we're kind of just going southeast. Closer to ground is 145, so yeah, that's south, southeast. Not ideal, but at least we're going east somewhat. Um, but it's been super nice. It's nice to get a, a nice evening like this after last night was, was pretty rough and the day was pretty rough today. So I think I'm totally okay with, I mean, we could put more sail out, we could go faster, we could probably pick up probably two knots, honestly, um, if we tried, but I don't really care to. I think we all can use a little bit of a break and get some good nice rest tonight and tomorrow maybe we hit it again. But I'm just enjoying this beautiful night. No rain, fairly clear skies. I can't see the moon anymore from behind the clouds, but the moon has been super bright, just shining out there. If he comes back out, I'll show you. Good night.